Hi, I'm Chris Phelps, Associate Winemaker at the Ingle Lincoln State, and I'm here today to, uh, to talk to you about the 2018 vintage uh, in regard to Rubicon and Cabernet Sauvignon. And then I'll touch briefly on the 2019 vintage as it applies to uh, Blancano, our white wine from that vintage. Uh, after a, a dry winter, uh, 2018 started out with good rainfall in March and April, uh, which provided ample soil moisture for, for early growth. Uh, a delayed bud break uh, helped us to avoid any, any frost damage and canopy development was slow and steady. Uh, bloom uh, was in late May uh, with warm temperatures, absolutely no vine stress, and uh, this gave us a really excellent uh, fruit set. Uh, summer was uh, cooler than average uh, due to the cooler ocean temperatures, and the combination of, of this good-sized crop and, and uh, the, the cooler temperatures gave us actually perfect conditions for uh, you know, uh, the, the gradual ripening of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and our other red Bordeaux varieties. It, it's always these long, cool vintages which are best for us uh, because we really look for uh, you know, optimal uh, physical ripening, uh, which means, of course, sugar and, and acidity, and as well as phenolic uh, maturity, which is uh, it really tannins. We want ripe tannins. Uh, very little irrigation was needed uh, in 2018 due to the cooler season. Uh, we started harvest with Merlot on September 15th. Our first Cabernet was picked on September 18th and roughly 75% of the fruit for Rubicon had been picked by early October. And uh, it's interesting to note that uh, in much of Napa Valley, uh, since the weather remained uh, nice, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon harvest went on for another four weeks, not ending until almost mid-November. Uh, but here at Inglenook, we, we pride ourselves in making fresh, elegant wines, uh, which have uh, moderate, uh, balanced uh, alcohol levels, as well as, as, as balanced, fresh acidity. Uh, so I would say, uh, to summarize, both Rubicon and Cabernet Sauvignon from uh, the 2018 vintage have deep color, uh, they have ripe, fine-grained, silky, almost talc-like tannins, uh, excellent tension, and, and really good energy. And, and I would say this is, we can really attribute uh, these characteristics to the, to the great weather conditions we had in 2018. Uh, going on to 2019, uh, in contrast to 2018, uh, the season was uh, preceded by a very wet winter. And uh, so these you know, wet conditions allowed us to, once again, escape any danger from uh, frost. Uh, the spring remained cool, uh, allowing us to, uh, to have delayed bud break and bloom, uh, which put us at a distinct advantage because there was rain in the third week of May, uh, just prior to bloom. So uh, it, our, our crop level was not impacted. Uh, our Blancano harvest began with Viognier on August 30th, uh, progressed on to Marsan uh, in mid-September, and we concluded with Roussan on September 24th. A slightly smaller Viognier crop uh, resulted in only 27% in the final blend, but it was a very focused, uh, uh, impressive Viognier with a lot of lychee uh, fruit character and lime blossom aroma. And uh, the other two varieties, Roussan and Marsan, you know, filled in the, the, uh, the final blend very nicely, uh, making it very luscious, luscious and uh, uh, well-rounded. So I hope that helps, uh, helps you understand uh, uh, 2018 and 2019. And uh, thank you for joining us.